for those of you, because hay fever is coming up, hay fever season. For those of you who have heard me say this before, I apologize. But for those who haven't, I'm so allergic to pollen. I've got what, like one of the highest allergy counts when it comes to to being allergic to pollen. And when I get when the hay fever season comes, many years ago, I used to hide. Not that long ago, actually, I used to literally hide. And if someone left a, a door or a window open at home, I'm like, oh, the pollen is gonna kill me. It was I'd literally get fevers. So hay fever, I'd literally get fevers from from the the hay from the pollen. And now I can't wait for summers. I don't sneeze ever. It doesn't irritate me. And it's because I cut out wheat, dairy, and sugar. Up the amount of water I was having and started fasting. So my body's no longer inflamed. And it ha my toxic count is very low, so it can handle pollen. But when your toxic count is very high from brushing your teeth with uh, fluoridated toothpaste and you wear clothes that are washed in detergents which have chemicals and then those chemicals don't all get washed out they remain on the clothes and then you wear those clothes for eight hours and ten hours a day it goes through your skin and that also adds to your toxic load lead pollution from cars i mean you name it there's so much toxicity and then your body just goes oh i can't handle pollen it's just too much i give up i need some antihistamines and uh, we, we that's another conversation but basically water helps to get rid of as much toxicity from your body if you're well hydrated because you lose about two and a half liters you lose about a liter and a half during the night when you're sleeping through respiration and perspiration and you lose another liter throughout the day when it's not that hot so you're losing about two and a half liters of water a day and it's not enough to have coffee actually for every uh, 100 mLs of coffee that you have, you need about 300 to counteract the effect of dehydration. So I'm fully aware of that. So whenever I do have a coffee, because I like the taste of coffee, um, I make sure that I drink extra water so I don't dehydrate myself. And so you have to be aware of those things um, and, and then you're going to be fine. So now I'm aware I don't have wheat, dairy, sugar. I increase my water. I sleep uh, as much as I can and um, then my body pays me back by being able to live a great day every day.